What's up everyone and welcome back to the comps channel. This is just going to be a quick video with some exciting news. Now you may have seen a few videos with the VGC VR N76 and this has quickly become one of my favorite radios and is my daily driver. A big reason for that is the ability to pair the radio to a phone and use their HT app for sending APRS messages back and forth, which is something that the Yaesu APRS capable radios can't do since they're locked to only be able to do this from the radio itself. And with a frustrating interface that's difficult to type on, this makes sending messages back and forth difficult to do. Having the ability to pair with a phone to do this makes life much easier and is one of the reasons I also like the Kenwood THD74 and the new D75. The only issue there is the D75 is $750 and is only water resistant instead of being completely waterproof like the VRN76, which makes me hesitant to take it out in the field in potentially harsh conditions. Now there was one thing that the Kenwood had over the VGC radio, and that's the full KISS TNC capability. That means that the Kenwood was able to unlock the full potential of packet radio and interface with supported packet radio software on a computer like Winlink or a phone using apps like APRS Droid. The VGC radios were locked to just using their HT app, which works but isn't without its faults. Now you may have noticed by now that I'm using past tense while talking about this and that brings me to the exciting news I wanted to announce and that's that the VGC VR N76 and its sister radio, the BTEC UV Pro, now have firmware that supports KISS TNC. What this means is that you're no longer locked into just using their HT app and can use apps like APRS Droid, which I have tested and it does work. And this should also work with software like Winlink, but I haven't gotten around to testing that yet. Now this firmware is still in beta, so there could be some bugs that you run across, however, and the firmware update process is a bit different. It's still easy to do though, so let's go ahead and go through that process. So to do that, open up the HT app if you're not already in it, then click on the three dot menu on the top right, then select device settings, and you'll see a section with the firmware version. Go ahead and tap on that and you'll either see no updates are currently available or you'll see that there's an update available. If you do see an update available, go ahead and go through the normal update process and update that first. Then return back to the firmware update screen until you see no updates are currently available. Now the updates it's talking about are the regular firmware updates. But since we're going to be testing beta firmware, we have to unlock that by tapping on the text that says no updates are currently available 10 times and then we'll see the option to download the beta firmware. Now again this could have some bugs but so far mine has been working well on the limited testing I've done with APRS Droid. So go through that firmware update process and when it's done you should be on firmware version 0.7.9. Now right after the update you may see the same firmware version you were on before. Now on mine I had to exit out of this device settings screen and go back to it so it'll refresh the page and see the actual current firmware version. Now in order to use the KISS TNC you can't have your radio connected to the HT app. So to disconnect tap on the hamburger menu on the top left. Then you'll see this circular radar or signal icon with the cross going through it on the top right. Go and select that and that'll disconnect your radio from the HT app. Now with that disconnected, we're ready to use the KISS TNC with other apps and software. So let's test that out with the APRS Droid app. So let's open up the APRS Droid app and I'm starting with a fresh install here. And when you open up the app, you'll need to enter in your call sign. So Let's go ahead and enter that in now. There's no need to enter in the APRS IS passcode since we won't be using that and we can go and hit OK there. Now we just need to tell it to use our radio over Bluetooth. So to do that, tap on the three dot menu on the top right, then preferences, then connection preferences, and now connection protocol. Then from here we can select TNC KISS and now we need to tell it which Bluetooth device to use by selecting TNC Bluetooth device. 
and you should see your radio listed either as UV Pro if you're using the BTEC or VRN76 if you're using the VGC radio. Since we're using the BTEC for this demo, we'll go and select UV Pro. Then from here, it's just a matter of hitting back a few times to get out of the menus. Then we can select start tracking to connect and start using the radio to send APRS packets back and forth. And there we have it. We can see where it sent a packet with my current position in the logs here. And the Kenwood was able to receive and decode it. Now let's go ahead and test things in the other direction to see if we can receive a packet from the Kenwood. So I'll have the Kenwood send a position beacon out and here we have it. And we can see that position beacon from the Kenwood on the list here on APRS Droid. So there we go, full KISS TNC capability, all in a completely waterproof, rugged radio that costs four times less than the Kenwood THD75. Very excited for this added capability to these radios, and that really unlocks so much potential for what you can do. And we'll be testing this radio with other software like Winlink, but for now I just wanted to get this exciting news out about these radios. and. If you'd like to pick one up, I'll have affiliate links to the VGC radio and the BTEC radio in the video description below. They're essentially the same radio and they both have this KISS TNC capability now. The only difference is the VGC comes in different colors and the BTEC only comes in black. Also, the BTEC radios are generally marketed towards the United States, so they have the NOAA weather radio frequencies programmed in, as well as weather alerting capability. But other than that, they're essentially the same radio, so your decision on which one to get will be mainly based on if you want a color other than black, or one that has the NOAA weather alerting functionality if you have a need for that. That'll do it for this video on this exciting firmware update to unlock full KISS TNC capability on these radios, and I hope you found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you won't miss out on any future videos on these radios and more. So thank you all and have a good one.